This tutorial is going to focus on rounding greater numbers to the tens place, the hundreds place, or the thousands place. And we're going to use the sample number of 6,249. Now let's say you're asked to round this number to the nearest thousand. That means you're going to be focusing on that thousands place, and if it's to the nearest thousand, then mentally you're going to be thinking in terms of the numbers we see over here, the thousands numbers from 1,000 to 10,000. Um, and we're going to think about, okay, well 6,249 is going to be between which two of these numbers to start with? Well, to start with, I'm going to say, okay, 6,249 is more than 6,000, but it's less than 7,000. So it's somewhere between these two. So I've got this mental number line in my head. And now what I have to figure out is, is it closer to 6,000 or is it closer to 7,000? That's when I look at the rest of my number. Well, I see it's 6,200. Well, if I think about my hundreds, 200 is pretty close. To, um, 6,200 is pretty close to 6,000. So I can pr be, be fairly confident that rounding it to 6,000 is going to work. And I'm not going to worry about the 49. I don't really need to take a look at that to know that this number is closer to 6,000 than 7,000. So that's not too good, but let's say we have that same 6,249 and now we're asked to round to the nearest hundred. This is where things sometimes get a little bit confusing for some folks, but we're going to make it simple. If we're rounding to the nearest hundred, we're going to be dealing with the hundreds place and lower. That means anything above hundreds, like that six in the thousands place, it's going to stay the same. So whatever I'm rounding, anything greater than the part I'm rounding to, I'm not going to have to mess with. So you know really what I'm doing is rounding 249. Again, I'm going to look, I'm going to think to myself about the hundreds numbers. Because rounding to the nearest hundred means I'm going to have a hundreds number. Well, 249 is more than 200, but it is less than 300. So I know it's going to fall somewhere in there in my mental number line of hundreds. Now what I have to figure out is, is 249 closer to 200, or is it closer to 300? Well, I know that halfway between 200 and 300 is 250. 249 is one less than that. If it's one less than halfway between, that means it's a little closer to that 200, which means I can round to 200 and have this, this number to the nearest hundreds place be rounded to 6,200. Again, the big thing to remember here don't worry about any place value digits that are higher than the place value you're rounding to. Just keep them the same and focus on the stuff that's, that is at that digit or lower. Let's look at that idea again. So let's stick again with our 6,249. It's serving us well. And now let's say we're asked to round to the nearest 10. Well, remember what I just said. If I'm going to round to the nearest 10, that means I'm going to be dealing with the tens place and lower. I'm not going to do anything to the hundreds or the thousands because I'm dealing with the tens. So I'm going to even start my number down here so that I remember don't mess with the thousands or the hundreds. I'm rounding to the nearest 10. Then I'm going to think about a tens number line and say to myself, okay, 49 is between what two tens numbers? And it turns out 49 is between 40 and 50. Now I need to zoom in on that number line between 40 and 50. 
49 is very close to 50. It's only one off. So I can be pretty sure that the nearest 10 is 50. So to round 6,249 to the nearest 10, I find I have 6,250. That mental number line and remembering to focus on the place values that we are that we are being asked to round to are the big things to keep in mind. If you do that, then you, my friends, are going to be happy, happy campers. And you are going to be able to round like a boss.